In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a bottle wand and a siphon to help you with your home brewing, uh, transferring your, your brew into bottles with these tools right here. First, I'm going to set up a demonstration, and then we're going to go ahead and actually bottle some mead that I brewed uh, this past holiday. All right, we're going to transfer water from this bottle here, which has water in it, into this bottle here. So imagine this is your brew and you got to bottle your brew, right? So first of all, we have to transfer the brew to a higher elevation than the bottle that you're transferring from because we are siphoning. We are gravity siphoning. So I'm going to pull this over here and put this bottle here. So we're going to use the siphon pump um, and put it in this bottle and we're going to put this, this wand in this bottle. Now the pump won't pump water into the wand unless the wand is pressed down. So when you press the wand down, it dispenses water out of the wand. But when you pull it up, it holds the water and it doesn't dispense. So let me show you what happens when you pump, when you use the pump without pressing down the wand. So without pressing down the wand, I'm gonna try to try to use the pump and nothing's happening. It's just blowing bubbles, nothing's happening. There's no water in the tube. There's no water in the, in the wand. Now let me show you what happens when I press the wand down. So the wand is pressed down. And I'm going to pump the siphon. So now with the siphon pumping and the wand pressed down, it transfers that water over. So with the gravity siphon, all you have to do is pump like once or twice just to get the siphon going, and then the water will just flow from there because the gravity is pulling out of the bottle. So we'll do it again. I'm going to make sure that this bottle, this bottle wand is held down. We're going to do our best to put this in here. I'm going to use my other hand to go ahead and pump. Okay. So now the siphon's done. The siphon is, is started and the water is flowing from that bottle to the bottom bottle. Now if you increase the elevation of the top bottle, the siphon will be a lot stronger and it will fill that bottom bottle a lot faster. So I'm just lifting this bottle over my head. You can't see it in the camera, but it is filling this bottom bottle. And so the higher you have that top bottle, the faster you'll be able to fill your bottles. Now using the siphon is perfect to get this clear middle layer of your mead. All, all of your yeast has fallen to the bottom. You might be brewing with some fruits. You want that clear layer to be harvested into your bottles. You can hold that siphon just perfectly to grab that middle layer out of your mead. All right, so everything is sanitized with star sand. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bottle wand in there and hold that down. I'm gonna to try to lift it up so I can use this other hand to start siphoning. I'm gonna put this in here. Go ahead and get that to a good level. Start pumping. Might take a while. Um, I am kind of harvesting the very bottom of my jugs right now. But as you can see, I'm able to harvest a, a very clear specimen out of these jugs, trying to get as much of the mead possible from this uh, this brew. This will work for wine, this will work for beer, this will work for anything. And when I pull it out, since the button's not pressed down, I can move this from bottle to bottle and it won't, it won't make a mess. So here you go. That is a little demonstration on how these siphons work. There you go guys. There's a pretty clear bottle of mead right there. Um, it is the bottom of my brew, so it might be a little cloudy, 
but it will settle. I didn't do any secondary fermentation, so this technically is the secondary fermentation, but I just plan on letting it um, age for a bit. But if I were to recommend a single piece of equipment, it is the bottle wand and the siphon, just so you can get you know clean harvest just like this. All right, thanks for watching.